this is JJ online math class you are welcome to my channel if this is the first time you are tuning in you are highly welcome and if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for always stopping by okay so today we have a math olympiad question on the board we are asked to solve for a and b if matrix c equals this multiplied by this let's call this a and b i have to use a and b just to simplify the whole thing <coughs> so if this is matrix a and this is matrix b okay all right and the element of Matrix C occupying the second row and the first column is minus five. And the element of matrix C occupying the second row and the third column is one. Now, um, let's solve this together. To be frank, when I saw this as a math Olympiad, I was like, are you sure? Because it's actually a very stressed question. Math Olympiad question is known to be somehow tactical, but this is straight. But being that I got it from a reliable source, I had to believe that yes, is a math Olympiad question 2017 or 2018. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this. For you to be able to understand this, you need to understand multiplication of metrics. Okay, how to multiply two matrices together. And I have a video in this channel that actually teaches that in detail. I taught that in detail. So shake my channel for that particular video. Okay. So I'm going to assume you already know how to do this, how to multiply two matrices together. Now, this particular matrix now, we have a two by three matrix, okay? This is a two by three matrix. And then this is a three by three matrix. If you want any anything you want about a matrix, please check it in this channel. I have the detailed videos there from beginning to end, all right? Now, because this is a two by three and this is a three by three, when a two by three multiplies a three by three, this and this are the same. So you are going to get this, a two by three matrix. So it means that our C is a two by three matrix, okay? So if our C is a two by three matrix, now let's represent it this way. If our C is a two by three matrix, so let's call this, C11, C12, C13, okay? Now, C21 is here and is minus 5. So, I'm going to call it minus 5. Now, C22 and C23 is here and is what? 1. So, let me represent it with 1. Now, this is a 2 by 3 matrix, the result of what we have here. Now, since this is our result, we are now going to implement what they actually taught here or what they actually said is happening here to form equation okay now let's do that together if you want if i want to get the value of this minus five here like i said if you know what how to multiply matrices together to get this minus five is actually going to be the row this row multiply this column the first row will multiply this uh, this second row, we multiply the first column because this is what C21. Second row, we multiply the first column. So let's do that. That means that if this is what? Minus five. That means when you multiply the whole of this and this, you are going to get minus five, right? Okay, so it's going to be five times B. So five times B plus A times one, A times one plus one times two, one times two is equal to what? It's going to give us this, which is minus five, is equal to minus five. Now let's solve this in detail. So five times B is five B, plus A times one is A, plus one times two is two, is equal to minus five. Now let's collect like terms. If we do that, we have five B, um, plus a is going to be equal to, so we are going to subtract two from both sides of this equation, right? So it's going to be plus two minus two is equal to minus five minus two. So we have this minus this is zero, right? So we have five B plus a is equal to, now minus five minus two is minus seven is equal to minus seven. Now let's call this equation one, all right? Let's call this equation one. 
Now we are going to form equation two by analyzing this. This is what C23. This is C23. That means that if we want to get this, we are going to multiply two. That is the second row of A by the third row of B. So it's going to be C23 is when we multiply the whole of this by this, we are going to get this. Okay, so let's do that. So it's going to be five times minus three. So we have five times minus three plus a times five, a times five plus one times one, one times one is equal to what? It's going to give us our C23, which is equal to one. Okay, so five times minus three is minus 15 plus five times a is five a plus one times one is one is equal to one. So we have um, less minus 15 plus one is same thing as one minus 15, which will give us minus 14, okay? So we have minus 14 plus five A is equal to one. Now let's add 14 to both sides of this equation. So we have minus 14 plus 14 plus five A is equal to one plus what? 14. So minus 14 plus 14 is zero. So we have that 5a is equal to 15. Now, if we divide both sides of this equation by 5, divided by 5, divided by 5, we will have that what? a is equal to 3. a is equal to 3. So we have found the value of a. We are going to get the value of b. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please, you need to subscribe. Yes, do you know why? So that when I upload a new video, you will be notified. So please subscribe and on your notification bell. And don't forget to do what? To comment. Okay, now let's continue. So I think we don't need this anymore. No, we don't. We do not need them anymore. All right. Now we have that A is equal to three. So let's substitute the value of a equal to 3 into equation 1, okay? So we have 5b plus a is equal to minus 7. So that means 5b plus 3 is equal to minus 7, okay? Now, that means that 5b is equal to... Let's subtract 3 from both sides of the equation, okay? Let's subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. So, plus 3 minus 3 is 0. We have 5b is equal to minus 10. Now, let's divide both sides of this equation by 5. And we are left with what? That our b is equal to minus 2. Therefore, our a is equal to 3. And our b is equal to minus 2. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.